This is the Ragged Cot near Minchinhampton in Gloucestershire. It's now a very smart pub and restaurant with accommodation and a complete contrast to the ramen. Except for one thing, it's got a long history and a great ghost story. The Ragged Cot has been a coaching inn since the 17th century and today it's a well-respected local pub and restaurant. Its most famous ghost story revolves around the exploits of a former landlord turned highwayman called Bill Clavers, who was said to have killed his wife and child on the way to robbing a stagecoach one night. Paranormal researcher Chris Howley agreed to tell me the story. So, Michaela, this is where our story begins. One cold December night back in 1760, the then landlord of the Ragged Cot, one Bill Clavers, was plotting a highway heist. He was an alleged notorious highwayman and he basically got himself tanked up on run, basically to warm him up but also to pluck up the courage to go and rob the coach from London to Gloucester at midnight. Now, up in his flat, he staggered out with two loaded pistols and his wife, petrified for his well-being, pleaded with him not to go out. She was carrying their young child. In his drunk rage, he pushed her to one side and they fell down the stairs. Bill Clavers then just left the building and went off trudging through the snow to go and hold up the coach. Right, Michaela, we're now on the main route from London to Gloucester where the stagecoaches would have run past. I think what we need to do is picture the scene. It's a cold, freezing, wintry night in December as Bill Clavers comes from the ragged cot, complete with black mask, two matching pistols. He must have looked a formidable sight standing on this road, holding up the coach as it came through. Were there a lot of highwaymen along this route in those days? There were. Stroud is a notorious area. And, in fact, just a mile further on up the road is the hanging post where the tried and convicted highwaymen were put to their death. So he's got their loot. We, we don't know if he killed anybody at the time. No. And then what does he do? Well, after leaving the passengers in a complete terrified state, he would have turned, trudged back through the snow to the inn to camp his hall. And this is where our story takes a more supernatural twist. Bill Clavers, after completing the robbery, is now sobered up after trudging hours back through the snow is horrified to find the dead body of his wife and child. So they died from being thrown down the stairs? That's right. I mean, he's now in blind panic. Um, what to do with them? I mean, he comes through into the oldest part of the building where there was a chest. So he decides to dump the bodies unceremoniously into the chest. Could that have been in this part of the building? We think so. I mean, obviously, the building's changed significantly since 1760, but we would assume it would have been in this part of the building. So what happened after that, after he's dumped them in the chest? Well, by now, several hours have passed. He's cleaned up. Uh, he's come through to this area of the inn, and through this window here, the police have now caught up with him after tracking him with his footprints through the snow. Now, they spot Bill Clavers through the window and there's an exchange of gunfire. After the second shot, they hear a scream from within the building, but it wasn't down to the fact that Bill had been hit by a bullet. It was down to the fact that he'd just seen his wife, the apparition of his wife, walking across that corridor. With his child? With his child, yes. The chef, Rob Pierce has had his own experiences in the pub. The only paranormal experience I've had um, has been sort of 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning when I stay in the old building. Um, I often get woken up by a bang, and then I come downstairs and look around, and there's never anything about it. It sounds like someone's either uh, falling down the stairs or kicking the door in, um, but that's the only thing I've ever experienced. 
sounds like someone's falling down the stairs. Well, that matches the history. It does, but it's also it's an old building in the middle of the night, so you never know quite what's going on. But it just uh, it shakes you up a little bit. This area has more ghostly tales which relate to a previous landlady, Melanie Holden. Now, Melanie and her husband used to live up above this room uh, in the flat. Now, on the first couple of nights in the building, they had rattling doors which they put down to bar staff coming up to attract their attention. When they used to open the door, there was nobody there. Well, that's quite spooky, isn't it? That's spooky in itself, but I think more frightening for Melanie's husband was waking up one night to see a spectral figure looming over the bed. He was scared out of his wits. Has anything happened in this room itself? Yeah, something more physical in this room to do with this table, actually. Melanie was setting up for dinner and she'd laid out the cutlery moved through into the bar area for a few moments. On returning, she noticed this chair had been pulled out as if somebody was sat ready to eat. The manager, Sam Neal, has had a bizarre experience with the fireplace in the bar. Um, since I've been here, the most bizarre thing uh, has been when I put the fire out one evening. Um, I put it out and turned around back towards the bar and within about ten seconds the, the logs were all back over and the fire was ro roaring away again. Could there have been any logical explanation for that? Um, not that I can really think of other than you know, the wood's cooling down and it cracked and fell together again but the ferocity of the flames, it was, uh, it was far too much for that really. Well, Gloucestershire really is home to some fabulous old buildings and with a local history of highwaymen and robberies, it's not surprising there are some great ghost stories here too. I'm just glad it's modern day and I can get into a nice warm car and not a cold stagecoach to go home. See you next time. Bye-bye. More Great British Ghosts on Friday. We've an exclusive new double bill from Nine. Next, prepare to go googly-eyed over a strange-looking doll on the Antiques Roadshow.